did you bring me here to embarrass me? Not you, Beth. You should have more pride in your simple nurse's apron than they have in their hats and petticoats. Anyway, who cares what they think? I think you look charming. You dined here before? Of course not. Why? You feign ignorance. But I decipher from your carriage that you are not from the slums that you serve. The past is merely a shadow. But the present cannot hide. It stalks us. Shall we... Uh... Shall we order? The food here is middling. Is that meant to entice me? What, the menu? No, no. Your insight. How about the truth? All right, the food here is terrible. How about why I'm here? You know, since I was a little girl, I've known two types of gentlemen. I don't know. <clears throat> Sir, the madam's attire, it's, um... Affordable. Piss off. I'm so sorry. You were saying, uh, two types of gentlemen. I'm an educated, learned woman, blessed with a pretty face, and most men wish to either strike me or bed me. Now, despite all opportunity and provocation, you didn't attempt the first, which makes me believe you desire the latter. Well... But you're right. I did escape my privilege with just enough education to help those who had none, and with a little bit of the old cockney, so they'd trust me with a needle. So given the choices that I've made in my life, you should understand that your... your lifestyle doesn't interest me, your ways of purchase do not impress me. But I do rightly thank you for the nurses, and I shall return to you filthy and haggard. <laughs> Please, enjoy the beauty of your decadence. Ladies and gentlemen, I crave your indulgence. A moment of your time, if you please. Or rather, a game. In three rounds. For the price of removing your jackets, I will absorb the cost of your starters. Anyone? Anyone at all, come on. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful, a room full of economists. <clears throat> and secondly, but for the austerity of your vests, the main courses. And lastly, to prove to my lady here that I damn well didn't invite her here to impress her by appearances, but for the honor of your shoes and socks, the bar tab. <laughs> Splendid. Since I was a child, I would see the end of everything. Every person's death. Their last moment. Such a thing could drive one to isolation or madness. But I cannot see this woman's death. She is a mystery. Strong, ahead of her time, defying it. I steal her as often as I can. And when she refuses, I resort to more desperate measures. Love knows nothing of time. I've consumed my days with the woman who lives to defy destiny. What better way to defy my own? YouTube, thanks for watching. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And for everything 12 Monkeys, head on over to sci-fi.com here. What does this have to do with the 12 Monkeys? They're using time.
against itself. If they succeed, all of humanity will collapse into itself.